is Rich Tarani. Thanks for watching and welcome to the 25th IT Expo Tech Super Show interview of John Brinton and he is with Crescendo and I should just mention it's the 41st show and it's uh, February 2024. John, welcome to the show. Hey Rich, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. Again. Yeah, great to have you back. Great to have you back. I always, you know, I start off every company just I want the elevator pitch because there may be someone new who's just learning about you guys. Tell us about Crescendo, what you do. Yeah, so Crescendo enables uh, cloud communication. So Unified Communications as a service, Contact Center as a service, and now with our API uh, capabilities, uh, CPaaS type applications. We build our own technology. We acquired a company called NetSapiens that many people are familiar with two and a half years ago, and that's our underlying technology platform. We license that to over 200 service providers globally, and then we also have a company store where we sell directly to end customers. So we're about enabling meaningful business communications, conversations, delivering employee experience, and then customer experience applications on top of that for today's environment. And really millions of calls are just riding on your technology. A bit, yeah, we recently crossed four million users globally. So, uh, and we're recently benchmarked by an analyst firm at growing at about double the rate of the market. So it's, uh, yeah, like you said, it's billions of calls a day and lots of people using our tools within their workplace and, and to run their business. So it's pretty exciting for us. Really, it's so, so impressive. And, and um, you know, like you said, to be able to grow faster than the market and, and to be so large and, and you know, it's normally you don't see that, but you guys have pulled it off. I mean, you're big enough to be formidable, but you're nimble enough to embrace technology and, and change and evolve, right? Yeah, I mean, we're still, you know, uh, because we license our platform to service providers who they collect the majority of the revenue, obviously, associated with their, we're a 50 plus million dollar company, but, um, you know, we got healthy growth, good profitability, and so we do have a little bit of uh, ability to be more nimble than others, although um, we're not the largest company. And I think the other thing is in our industry, um, you know, some of the legacy platforms that were uh, very successful five or ten years ago uh, went through acquisitions. They're not getting quite the attention and the love that they were getting before. So we have a group of, of service. We're continuing to add about 22 new, 20 new service providers every year that are using our technology. That would make sense. And those companies will remain uh, nameless. Uh <laughs> so, uh, tell me about uh, recent news events, like what, what's changing, exciting, what's, what's shaking at the company? Yeah, so we're really excited. Uh, Frost and Sullivan uh, recently for our, our vertical for the cloud communications platform provider, where they benchmark us against uh, several nameless companies that are uh, well known and, and very much larger than we are. They actually uh, recognized us with uh, uh, an award for our communications platform category for strategy and execution uh, just within the last four weeks. So we uh, announced that recently and we're pretty excited about it because you know we're being compared to a lot of folks that are, are much bigger than we are in the vertical. Um, and, and you know I think that's just a testament to the commitment that our team has had to serving our community and really growing a, a great base of companies that we partner with that deliver our platform. So we're, we're thrilled to have gotten the recognition and the award from them for our vertical. Uh, a couple other things is for, in a similar fashion, with end customer reviews, uh, there's a third-party software review site called G2.com, and we've been ranked number one in customer satisfaction uh, for our vertical against a lot of much larger competitors on that site. So two really solid external proof points of validation of the work we've been doing, and, and that's very exciting and fulfilling for us. And your, your primary goal is to add more carriers to your portfolio of customers? Yeah, our primary goal is to have a healthy community that continues to grow and prosper because you know we want our service providers to continue to grow at a rate greater than the market. To continue to add to that and expand, we've had a lot of uh, international growth over the last couple of years, so uh, a lot of success in, in Europe and Asia Pacific and kind of expanding our markets and continuing to add new service providers and then also 
for where we touch end customers to deliver those kind of delightful experiences for them so they're satisfied with our solution and a great crescendo you know testimonial customer so i think it is to continue to obviously bring new people into the fold but it's also to kind of serve the community that we've got that have adopted our technology and are deploying it as part of their technology stack because as they grow i mean you're, you're incented to have your customers do better Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we love every license upgrade order. So, no, we're incented to have our customers do better. We've added omnichannel CCAS to our stack now. We talked about in the last software release, we uh, uh, really did a, a revitalization of our APIs and kind of moved them up to a, a common open standard that people are comfortable with. So it's about giving people the tools they need in today's interconnected world to create the applications and the you know, components that they need to be successful. Excellent, what else should we know? Uh, you know, I would just, if uh, people are interested, they can always go, we can't spell, so it's crescendo.com, C-R-E-X-E-N-D-O.com, and go to our website, find out more about the company, and thank you, Rich, because you know, we've done this many times together, and I appreciate you guys always putting on a great event. Thanks, and thanks for being here. Yep, appreciate it, thank you.